I'm Roy Robertson. This is San Diego Made, San Diego Proud, presenting the business leaders dedicated to serving the people of America's finest city. And with us again today is Brent Wilsey of Wilsey Asset Management. He's the president of this financial management firm that provides guidance to people who are in need of an investing strategy to get them started, as well as to experienced investors and corporate clients, too. Brett has two free upcoming seminars focused on understanding mutual funds, ETFs, what, and individual <laughs> stocks. And we'll give you a little preview of these uh, free workshops this morning, workshops coming up on the 28th and the 29th. Welcome, Brett. Thank you. So. Um, this is all about becoming informed mm -hmm. and taking some of the emotion out of it because you're better educated, and that's what you do by and large with these seminars. Exactly. At the seminars, we show people how to invest, all the problems, all the, the, the things not to do. And today, I thought we'd take a little bit from that, talk about mutual funds, ETFs, and individual stocks, as we call equities. Okay, so let's break it down and starting with mutual funds. And we probably all, 95% mm -hmm. of us, have mutual funds in our mm -hmm. 401ks and our IRAs. Do we really understand them? Tell us some of the upsides, some of the downsides. Sure, sure. The upside of mutual funds. You get professional management, bookkeeping, diversification. All these, all these are very good. What you don't get, or you don't like, or shouldn't like, with the cons. Mm. Uh, one is you get like high fees. You get uh, what we call uh, uh, oh, uh, hidden fees, like 12B1 fees and marketing fees and so forth. Right. And then what we also call net redemptions, which is terrible because if you're a long-term investor, you stay with it. Market's going down. People are selling out you're actually losing money even though you're staying with the fund. So people do not understand net redemptions. Pitfalls of mutual funds, and I heard fees in there twice. Now yes. let's talk about ETFs, which is kind of the hidden commodity in, right. in the investment mix. Explain ETFs to us. ETFs is probably the most widely used term right now, and I think half the people don't know what it stands for. Yeah. Do you know what and it what does it stand for? It stands for <laughs> exchange-traded funds, but I don't know, for the life of me, I don't know how they work. You looked at the notes, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, well, I did. Well, yeah, and the, the pros you get with the exchange-traded funds, ETFs, is you do get the diversification, uh, they can be sold during market hours, which you cannot do with a mutual fund. You have to wait till they end close to sell your mutual fund. ETF you can sell during market hours, and you get low fees. Now, the downside to, to them is that the value can drop more than the underlying stocks hmm. in an ETF. And people don't realize that, but you could actually lose money more than if you held the stocks during a downturn in the market. Right. Um, also, too, too many choices. You don't know what to buy because there's so many things out there. It's right. crazy. And then they're not professionally managed. So in that ETF, you could be holding some crap. I should say junk <laughs> in there is what you could be holding. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and speaking of too many choices, when we get into the stock market trying to pick individual mm -hmm. stocks, wow, is that overwhelming. Uh, give us the pros and cons there. Sure, sure. The pros there are that investors get increasing dividends. And we have a company that we bought seven years ago. We're now getting a 17% yield in that dividend. You also get to own something, a piece of a company, equity is what you get, yeah. and also state uh, estate tax benefits as well. So if you pass away, there's step-up basis, you get long-term capital gains, so you get great tax benefits by holding individual equities. Downside is they're hard to understand. You have to hire a professional manager to do right. it because a lot of research goes on behind it. It can be very emotional as well. And obviously there's just so much to process, digest, and mm -hmm. you need a professional to guide you in this. That's what the seminars are designed to do because we're just scratching the surface today, but you will get an opportunity to meet with Brent. Wilsey Asset Management has the Smart Investing Workshop coming up Wednesday, June 28th at the Brigantine in La Mesa. The following night, Thursday the 29th at the Butcher Shop in Kearney Mesa. And again, it's just it's all about the education, making informed decisions. And I know you focus on taking the emotion out of this. Exactly, because uh, people get too emotional about it. When they get emotional, they do the wrong things. If you understand, have knowledge about investing, you don't do the wrong things. I mean, you do the right things by saying, yes, this is the time to buy, not to sell. And people, I got to say, confuse volatility with risk. They're two different things. Do not okay. confuse the two. And Brett will cover all of these issues at these seminars on the 28th and the 29th. And you can go to the website to register, smartinvesting2000.com.